Good morning, adventures. Good morning. From the town of Marbor in eastern Slovenia. I think we're gonna head to this hill up here that uh, we showed off in last night's video in the dark, but uh, should be a really nice lookout. But then our actual goal today is to try some Slovenian food for the first time. Yes, we got some very delicious recommendations, so we're gonna go try that, but it's way on the other side of town, so we figure we'll do the hike first, work up our appetite, and then go eat all the food. We've got Emma and Alex with us once again today. Hey. What's up guys? Since I met these guys, I can't stop doing this, and I don't know, I've never done it before. Do I pull it off? It feels so natural. Woo. Yeah! Our internet wasn't really working in our Airbnb this morning, so we kind of had to wing it how to get to the start of this hike, but I think we, did we found it. it. This but looks like it. It's like I the Pyramid Hill. This means we go this that way. This is the sign. <laughs> We are heading up to that chapel up there, I believe. The view's already pretty spectacular though. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can see there's actually a gigantic mountain over there in the distance, but it's a little uh, hazy. Oh yeah, more vineyards yeah. off that way. It's very cool. I'm not sure what the vineyard's called. They're really, uh, we couldn't really look up much about it, unfortunately, but it looks very cool. I'm sure in the summer it would be very beautiful, but it's beautiful in its own way right now. So if you can tell, this is actually a chapel, which was what our hunch was. I guess it's dedicated to the Virgin Mary, but it was not always a chapel here. There was a castle from the 12th to 18th century, and then in the 1700s, the 1780s, I guess it was destroyed and a pyramid, a stone pyramid was put in its place. That sadly was also destroyed in the, I believe the 1800s. And I think it said by lightning. By lightning, which, which I'm not really crazy. sure how lightning destroys a stone pyramid, but it happened. There are all these cool ruins, I guess, from when the castle was here that they've been excavating and they have really nice displays of pictures throughout the process and little placards to give you a little bit of history. So it's nice, you get to learn a bunch, you get to see the city and uh, take in the Virgin Mary if you would so like. <laughs> it is also not crowded at all. We're the only people up here. A couple joggers have kind of came and went, but pretty much have the whole thing to ourselves. Oh, and these suckers. A couple of beans. <laughs> oh God, stop it. <laughs> That's never gonna end now. Some cool things about Marbor, it is the second largest city in all of Slovenia. And apparently it has been mentioned in history as far back as the 1200s. Yeah, so the population is about 90,000 people mm -hmm. of this city. And uh, we're headed now to the old town. It sits right on the river and it's full of all these historic buildings and shops and restaurants, which is the most important thing because we are very hungry. And we are about to head to our restaurant that we mentioned earlier right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For lunch we have come to Ghostlina Marabor and we have gotten a lot of meat and a lot of bread. So two things that we're super excited to try, which the Slovenian girl abroad recommended. And one is Styrian lard, which is pretty much what it sounds like, big chunks of lard that you spread on some bread there. And then the other one is tunka, which I guess is um, pork. I guess you put it in lard and you let it ripen in there, which doesn't sound so great, but we've been assured that it's a delicacy of the area and that it tastes really good. We also have an assortment of other cheeses and meats. We got some lovely pickled veggies from the area. And then we also have another local dish that um, our server recommended 
and it is this, I guess a sandwich from the area. We went with the beef. It also has sauerkraut, horseradish on there, some pumpkin seeds, um, mustard, and the name of this sandwich is a little hard to pronounce, so we'll probably have popped it up on the screen, but there are all sorts of different varieties you can get. It smells really good, you guys. Might be a little spicy. Careful there. Might have to stay away from a little bit of the horseradish. I can see it on there. The satisfying bite is absolutely delicious. The first thing you notice is the freshness of the bun. You've got this crunchy outer layer and it's soft in the middle. Then you bite right into the meat. It's salty, delicious. Then you get to the sauerkraut and you get this pop of acidity and, and more saltiness. I didn't get too much of the horseradish, which is probably a good thing, so I can't attest to whether or not it's very spicy. All right, y'all, I'm going for the lard. Oh my God, look at this. I mean, can it be that bad? It's like fat and meat, right? It doesn't, I don't think it looks that appetizing oh, it looks to like me. Oh. <laughs> How's it smelling? It smells a little interesting. It smells a little ripe. It's so stinky. Just it smells like a stinky Don't think about cheese. it, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> it started oh. off okay, but now it's... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. It tastes like it wants to be salami, <laughs> but maybe salami that your refrigerator went out and you notice a couple days later, but you're like, I'm still hungry, I'm gonna eat this salami. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But I'm very glad that I tried it. It's very unique. I don't think I've tasted any lard or meat dish that's like this. <laughs> It smells awesome, guys. <laughs> it's like a blue cheese. Yes, it's like the blue cheese of meat. Okay, so far I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm in, I'm fully in. I this is two it. of these out of 10. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go for the tunka. I don't know. It's such a fun word to say. It is tunka. fun. So I'm hoping, ah, if I can get it here. I'm just gonna take it off the fork because it's flopping everywhere. Ooh, ooh, it smells really nice. Okay, I think I wanna like this one. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Now that is absolutely delicious. It's smoky, it's almost peppery, even though I don't see any pepper on here. It's just really salty and savory. I think with a good cheese, it would be amazing, or on a sandwich. We've got some cheesy uh, lard over here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is that no. weird to put that on that? <laughs> no, I'm sure, Could, do you ever do like the lard inside of this, like a roll up? Sounds Somebody right. does that. Let <laughs> us know if you're the one. <laughs> You've made that joke like, this is might be the third time that you've done it. We bought a new car. We're car owners. All right, we all went in on the car this time, not just us. Yeah, stop overusing jokes, guys. <laughs> so we had a bit of a rough time renting the car. We're gonna spare you the details, but it's always a hassle when you try to rent a car for some reason. There's always something that goes wrong or some yeah. unexpected fee or whatever. But anyways, we figured it out. It took uh, 45 minutes longer than we thought it would. But we are heading out to a barn. That's the big reveal. That's where <laughs> we're, we're going to be staying, staying in a barn tonight. Like literally sleeping on hay. And it is below zero. It's below zero. Today, so yeah. This could be a disaster. And our host never told us if we're going to have a heater uh, or if we're going to be sleeping <laughs> with goats. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an adventure. So, yeah. The goats could be our heater. Yeah, true. Okay. All right, how you feeling about driving? I'm really stressed, guys. This is why I'm talking. I'm not talking. I'm... <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. No. I've been driving in Poland recently, so I'm trying to get used to the other side of the car, the other side of the road. In England, the stick, what do you call it, a shift? Shifter? Shifter Shift. stick, yeah. I call it a gear. The gear is on the gear left. Box. Here, it's on the right. And I'm not used to, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's a joke about my right hand, but I'm not doing it. Born, here we come. Destination is on the left. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, oh, this might oh, be the barn. This might be it. There's the barn. Okay. It says it's down there. <laughs> so we're having a little trouble finding the place. Oh, and lights. Oh, jeez. We're in the no. middle of nowhere, and 
I went out to just look around and some guy came running up on me with a wrench. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> but he turned out to be all right. I think he just didn't speak any English, so he was acting a little weird. But he, I think he called the owner of the Airbnb. Oh, I, you think he's dead? He's dead? No, you think oh. he's dead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody's dead. It's a ghost. <laughs> I'm just convinced we're going to die out here. <laughs> but he said, head down this way. So I think he called the guy. We should be good. We must go on to the, another place. Okay. okay. Here is my house. Mm -hmm. And we go now to the ranch, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. You drive, follow me, okay? Okay, we will follow Perfect. you. Okay. We finally found our guy. Um, he speaks limited English, but we managed to work out that we're going to follow him because the barn is in a different location to his house, which is where we are now. And he likes to murder people off site. <laughs> <laughs> so he does his killing at the barn. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. We're in the forest now. We're on a dirt road. There's not another soul around. We've seen signs for club. bears. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we saw a sign with a bear on it. We didn't have time to read what it said, but hopefully it's... Don't worry guys, no bears here. <laughs> Here's the ranch. This is the moment of truth, guys. We're pulling up to the barn after about 15 minutes of driving through windy roads and wilderness. If you want, you can shower there. Okay. I'm okay. But <laughs> 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 George is going to make us a fire. Yes, Get it yes, warm yes, in yes. here. I don't know. Good fire. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. I have a new best friend. Um, we learned that the barn was going to be, he said, negative seven, which I think is maybe in the teens in Fahrenheit. And so luckily they have a nice little cabin. So we're trying to get a fire started and then I think we'll be good. The water is frozen, so there will be no use of the toilets or showers or <laughs> anything like that. But we got cats. Yeah, we need some kitties. <laughs> Schnapps, homemade. Oh, nice. And uh, a sherry from the, ah, Hruska, it's Hruska, Hruska. I don't know say how to. Yeah. Now we drink. Yes. yes. <laughs> Gone, gotten all settled in. Now we're pouring some shots. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Nazdravje. 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 Ooh, that's lovely. How's that booze? Burning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very strong. So last night ended up being pretty interesting. <laughs> the <laughs> whole really, day was kind of crazy. Yeah, not quite what we were expecting, but it ended up being awesome because we got to spend a few hours just hanging out with the uh, owner of the place. I guess they get a lot of people through here in the summer, but not so many in the winter. But we ended up getting a fire going. It was cozy in there. We played some card games. It was pretty nice. It was a lovely, lovely evening. Yes, and we are about to kind of do a little tour around the place because they have all kinds of animals. The views around us, to give you a little taste of it, they are absolutely spectacular. Oh so we're going to save that for the next video, so make sure you check that out. And we're also going to head to Ljubljana. Hopefully we're saying that right. Yes, road tripping in Slovenia is an amazing idea because the country is pretty small, so you can see a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah, but I think that's all for today. Hey, right, good night adventures. We'll see you on the road.